I like to collect, I will say first name, uh, I would edit this first name and email. The reason is you're going out on your first date, right? You don't know this person yet. You wanna get to know them. If I'm asking for their annual household income, their zip code, the more information I ask for up front, the less chances are that they're gonna convert, right? So I wanna make it simple because once I get them to opt in, that's how I'm gonna get more and more information from them, if that makes sense. That's where I'm gonna offer them other things to see if they're interested. I may have surveys in which I can get that information. Um, and I almost think that's more effective because you've already began that relationship, right? So that, that would be my advice. I mean, every marketer is different. And I had one client, their lead magnet was a quiz, but the quiz was so compelling because the quiz was, take this quiz about your lifestyle and we will tell you how to improve your lifestyle to reduce the risk that you get Alzheimer's disease later in life based on scientific data. So you had to give personal information like your height, like your weight, like your age, like your zip code, because they were looking at you know, Alzheimer's according to zip code here in the United States. You had to give that information to get your score and to get your advice. And that was really powerful. That did you know, really, really well because it was so compelling. And in order for people to get the information, they, they understood that they had to give up more information. So that's a unique case. Now, if you have that same case where people have to give that information in order to find out, um, logistically speaking, that, that's one thing. But if not, I'd recommend getting them into, you know, start dating them and slowly building that relationship. And, and from there, you know, getting more and more information from them based on, you know, what links are they clicking or, you know, surveys, what have you. Okay. So what I do and the reason that I use a get response and not a convert kit and not a MailChimp is the ability to do scoring of each person on my list and to do automations in a very, very complex way. And what I mean by this is it, what, what uh, Erek was talking about progressive profiling. What I do is, you know, people sign up and I score their activity, which you can do in get response. Every time they click on a link, every time they open an email, every time they go to my website, I'm giving them points and when they're warm enough and the points tell me when they're warm enough, I automatically send them an email when their score gets to a certain point level with the survey question. Let me serve you better. What are the specific types of things you're interested in? Please help me understand your needs better. And this is something that's completely automated and, and very sophisticated, but you have to use the software like GetResponse in order to do that. So that would be my, my additional advice there. And you'll have to either, you know, contact me or get hold of GetResponse to get more details on that. But that, that is what I do and I highly recommend you do. And that's why, you know, complex, uh, sophisticated solutions that GetResponse have tremendous value once you understand how to do this.